Every year, there is a little confusion in preparing for today's feast. You may know about Ascension Thursday, but instead we are celebrating Ascension today, Sunday. Ascension Thursday would have been a couple days ago, but in many dioceses, the feast is transferred to today. But it's not transferred in every diocese. So this past Thursday, and in any number of parishes, there were some people uh, in, uh, who attended daily Mass here uh, thinking that they were coming for Mass for the Ascension. On Sunday, before Mass, lectors come into the sacristy asking, which readings are we doing today? All of the liturgical books, the missals and the pews, devotional materials, all of these place Ascension on Thursday. That's where you find it on the book or Sunday. There is confusion about when to celebrate this day. The scriptures tell us that 40 days after the resurrection, Jesus ascended into heaven. And then 10 days later, 50 days after the resurrection, the Holy Spirit came down upon the apostles at Pentecost. 40 days, 50 days. But 40 can also be a symbolic number, meaning an adequate amount of time. So on one hand, if you take 40 days literally, which many in the church do, then the ascension is celebrated on Thursday, 10 days before we celebrate Pentecost next Sunday. But on the other hand, if you accept the symbolism and the benefits that come from transferring the feast from Thursday to Sunday, then ascension is celebrated again today on Sunday. But this option, once again, can leave some of us confused. And in the end, I think that this confusion can distract from the meaning of the ascension. That's what we focus on. What are we doing? When are we celebrating? And instead of what is the, the meaning of, this, of the ascension, after the resurrection and the instruction that Jesus offered the disciples, Jesus became present to them, to us, in a new way. He was taken from their sight, that's the scripture says. That is, he is no longer present to them in a limited way of just time and space, but now he's present in the world in such a way that we would not have to travel thousands of miles just to see him, let alone to talk to him. By being taken from, this, from our sight, then Jesus could be present to all of us at the same time, wherever we are. I will be with you even to the ends of the earth, Jesus says. In other words, he is with us, each of us, in every moment, in every place. But this mysterious presence isn't just about where Jesus is. It's also about where we are and where we are called to be. Jesus ascended to the Father. That's what we celebrate at the Ascension. He took our humanity as well and brought it into heaven. That is where we are called to be. That is where we are when we live in union with Christ. The ascension reminds us of the hope of eternal life with God in heaven. But we're not supposed to stand around and look to the skies. We're not supposed to live our Christian lives looking towards heaven in a way that prevents us from being present to the world. The angel says, why are you standing here? Go and be witnesses to Jesus. That's an important part of the meaning of the ascension that we are witnesses to Jesus in the world. We can do signs, and we can do the very work of Jesus. The point of the ascension is that Jesus remains present to the world, to our community, to each of us, because we ourselves are Christ's presence. But how often do we stand idle, concerned with our own self-interests? Too often. Too often we fail to make Christ present to others. Too often we put the wrong things before our love of God and each other. The meaning of the ascension is that Jesus is present to us in the whole world, in the sacraments, in our prayer, in our good works, in the love that we show one another, in the forgiveness that we give, in the community that we foster. This is the meaning of the ascension. Let us not get distracted or confused. Let's not get distracted from that meaning.